hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i will show you how to paint a metal furniture this is an ikea cabinet which i had for long time i hope you enjoy this video and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon i bought this ikea ps cabinet when i was renting to add brightness to my apartment this is a great inexpensive storage solution and that's why i decided to keep this furniture after moving to this new house but I needed to add some personality to match my black and white interior plan. I'm sure when the makeover is complete, we will be able to use this cabinet in different ways. I think painting metal furniture requires a little more care than painting wooden furniture. I started the process by lightly sanding the surface. After sanding, I used isopropyl to clean the dust. I was surprised to see how much dirt and paint it could remove. Today I'm using spray chalk paint, but I only have two bottles. So I will have to use leftover paints from other projects. With one bottle, I could only paint the cabinet doors. So, if you are planning to use spray paint on a big project, then get ready to buy a lot of these bottles. I didn't want to simply paint the cabinet and leave it, I wanted to add more character. Today I will use tiles on the top of the cabinet. And these tiles are really cheap option. I bought each of these at $2 from Home Depot. To hide the sides of the tiles, I'm going to use this window trims. I'm going for more simple pattern, but if you want, you can break the tiles and create different kind of patterns. Here is one pattern that I really like. Originally I thought of doing this, but for this project I'm taking much easier approach. I arrange the tiles before attaching them on the cabinet to make sure the space in between is fairly equal. I did not use any spacer because I did not buy one. But later I remembered that I could use anything such as coin or ruler as spacer between the tiles. However, the result was pretty neat. After attaching the tiles with glue, it was time to fill in the gaps with grout. I am using black grout to create a contrasted look. Preparing grout is very easy. You just need to mix the grout with water and create a smooth paste. However, applying grout is a bit messy. Once the application is done, clean the excess grout. After around 20-30 minutes, wipe the tiles. I also painted the window trims with some leftover black paint and attached with the cabinet using glue. And my cabinet is ready. Thank you for watching this video. Please let me know what you think about this makeover in the comment box. See you next week.